Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a data table which says that eight students appeared for an exam which had four sections: English, GK, Reasoning, and Quant. English and Quant had 30 questions each. Reasoning had 60, and GK had 80 questions. Below table gives the number of questions attempted by the students and the correct attempts. Okay, so this gives correct and incorrect attempts. C is correct attempts. I is incorrect attempts. For every correct attempt, uh, there is one mark. Okay, and incorrect attempt is minus 0.25 mark. Okay, in order to qualify, one must clear the cutoffs in all sections as well as the overall cutoff. So the sectional cutoffs are like this: English 13, GK 35, Reasoning 32, Quant 15, and overall cutoff is 105. Okay. Now, uh, based on this, we have to answer the questions. So, in such questions, remember that if you get a big table, you are not supposed to calculate all the values. Some students have the habit that they will calculate the marks of all these students and then they will say that, okay, we are done with the table. Now, ask us anything. Right? In such questions, you should attempt those questions which can be done with minimum filling of values and skip the rest in the examination scenario. Okay, so first of all, how many questions, how many students qualified the examination? Does it require you to calculate all the uh, all the values? Can we just observe and find that who are missing the cutoffs? So yes, we can answer this question. What is the difference between the scores of the student who qualified with the minimum total and the score uh, and the student who was disqualified with the maximum total? So it is a time consuming question because you will have to check those lowest and highest scores. Okay, how many students failed to clear the cutoff in just one section? Just observation based. So I'm writing O, which means that these are observation based questions and these are calculation based questions. Okay, what is the average score in quant? Right, so it does not mean that you have to find the average, you can just find the correct and incorrect questions and then you can do it. So I can say that it's a calculation based questions, I would say light calculation, and this is heavy calculation right so in an examination you should be attempting this question you should be attempting this question this question this question should be skipped in the examination provided you do not have much time if you are running short of time so you should not attempt this question however attempt the rest of the three okay now we will solve these questions in the order which are the easiest first so how many students qualified the examination so if we have to find the number of students qualified so that person should clear all cutoffs as well as overall cutoff right so english the cutoff is uh, english the cutoff is 13 so this person did not clear cutoff in english okay uh, this person did not clear the cutoff in english this person did not clear the cutoff in english and uh, this person three ma uh, three marks 14 years so this cleared right so these these people anyway will not qualify right gk the cutoff is 35 so not clearing the cutoff not clearing the cutoff not clearing the cutoff uh this is 6.25 so this will clear right so these people will not clarify qualify okay now uh in reasoning the cutoff is 32 okay so this is five uh this is 4.3.5 so this will clear the cutoff this this person will not clear the cutoff this person will not clear the cutoff this person will also not clear the cutoff right so s6 and s8 also not qualified okay then quant the cutoff is 15 so this person will not clear the cutoff and rest alls will so this, these uh, these students are quite smart in quant uh, except one all have cleared the cutoff in quant right okay so uh, we can easily say that only s3 and s7 qualified the examination right so we did not calculate their actual scores Achha, uh -huh, we should calculate the actual also cutoff is 105 so let us see ki, have they answered enough uh, correctly 70 111 uh, 133 i don't think they will have uh, more than 28 uh, 133 correct in total okay then 827 46 51 incorrect 
right 51 will not lose 28 marks so obviously qualified right that is 58 100 122 correct at right, 122 correct then 12 uh 12 plus 21 12 plus 21 is 33 incorrect right so obviously it is above cutoff so those two those two students have qualified the examination so one question how many students failed to clear the cutoff in just one section so s1 could not clear in just one section s2 okay then we have uh, s6 and s8 so there are four such students so this is the easiest question this is the second easiest okay now let's see uh, the third one which is what is the average score in quant average score in quant does not mean that you should calculate score and find the average so you can just add the totals right and then also find the average so if you add this uh, 41 63 80 92 110 156 156 correct and 11 16 21 35 uh, 41 53 incorrect okay so rough rough color that will give you 156 and 53 will be 13 right so somewhere 143 by uh, 8 right 18 8s are 144 right so 18 say thoda sa kam that is 17.84 this this will be 142.75 right i just calculated rough value so slightly less than 18 so this question also done so in an examination you should be attempting these three questions and then just moving ahead okay so let us solve this question what is the difference between the score of the student who qualified with the minimum total so qualified with the minimum total will be this person of course right so his score is uh, 8.25 if you subtract that will be 113.75 and the student was disqualified with maximum total okay now we will have to see who could have disqualified with maximum total you see 62 62 42 104 121 okay 54 102 126 let us find correct answers so usse bhi thoda idea aa jayega ki kiske zyada ho sakte hain so that is 62 62 and uh, 121 correct hai iske okay. uh, this is 54 102 126 correct hai so uh, th this obviously looks very low so no need to count right 30 this also looks very low s4 and s5 look very low okay 72 72 plus uh, 54 that is 126 so looks a good number of correct attempts okay and this is 68 68 plus 60 128 correct attempts okay let's find incorrect attempts also and then find the actual scores okay so uh, 38 incorrect 38 plus 24 62 incorrect so looks like a looks like a very low score right 62 incorrect is way too much okay so let's see others mm. if you see this incorrect is 221 21 plus 17 38 incorrect right quite less number of incorrect although his score is high but he has done a lot of incorrect questions okay and then let's see this person uh, 5 11 uh, 11 23 29 just 29 incorrect right so this person might have that high score let us see for this person also 38 uh, 62 68 incorrect so obviously this person will have the highest score s2 will have the highest score with without clearing the cutoff but uh, scoring the maximum okay so 126 and this will be uh, 29 means 7.25 so 118.75 right so the difference comes out to be 5 so this was a calculation intensive question but again could have been done by observation so what we saw is it is not necessary to calculate each and every data in a data table you can answer some of the questions by just observing the table